Sometimes we just have to ask ourselves tough questions as people of God. And I'm not so sure it's the questions that I'm so much worried about and as it is the answers. Are we good representatives of God? What kind of representative are you? And I have to ask myself, what kind of representative am I? I am really concerned with how we present ourselves to the world as Christians, as people of God, people who love God. And I think we've gotten so enamored with the fact that we love God. We, we don't mind telling anybody that we love God, but that's, that's, that's not enough. That's not enough. You're not ashamed to love God, but we seem to be ashamed to do things his way. And I want to I want to I want to talk to you about what I see on my limited amount of social media. Did a little research and um, I don't know all of these social media platforms, but it was still interesting. And it says Facebook has two point nine billion monthly active users. They call them MAUs. YouTube, 2.2 billion. WhatsApp, 2 billion. Instagram, 2 billion. And WeChat, 1.26 billion. And TikTok, 1 billion monthly active users. And many of those are professed Christians. People who want people to know that they're believers in Jesus Christ and that they love God. And I love that part. I'm glad that we're not ashamed, but are we good representatives of God, Christianity, Christian morality? Because some of the things we say as children of God, I'm limited, so I'm talking specifically about Facebook because that's the one that, that I see. The things we say, the language we use, the pictures we post, the clothes we wear that reveal so much of our bodies, and that's primarily female. The language, oh my goodness. And almost in the same vein, we segue from some of the worst words you can say to hallelujah. <laughs> Is that a good representation of people who profess to love God and love his way, but yet our language is no different. We dress no different. We have the same issues. We, we, we put our entire family history out there on Facebook just to get acquiescence, just to get somebody to agree, just to get somebody to like. It is amazing to me how, how much emphasis we put on a like. Are we good representatives of God? Do we have a godly intent that segues into godly activity? Or do we just get on these, on these platforms and say and do anything and the world is just shaking their head? And they watch us go to church three, four times a month. But church is actually an addendum to our activity. It's an add-on to how we want to live our lives. Are we good representatives of people who profess to love God, who profess to live differently, who profess to do things a godly way, and then present ourselves on Facebook? How, how, why, why do we want people to know that we go to church regularly 
and then use profane language. Listen, I'm not talking about occasional profanity. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. But the profanity laced conversations that are on Facebook, the pictures we post half naked, the stories we tell about our families, we divide our families right in social media and people know we go to church, they know we love God and it doesn't mean you don't love them, but man, don't you think we should do better? So I'm asking you to join me and, and let's do better. Let's do better on these platforms because God has been too good to us to display ourselves this way. Not only does it hurt us, it hurts the cause of Christ. It's just something that I want you to think about.